An assortment of gambling devices. The machines have been seized from across the province and were destroyed in Tewane South, outside Mbombela City. The shops are not regulated nor licensed. So what you are seeing here, it's 180 illegal gambling devices that were connected uh, throughout the province. And uh, what is key uh, about them is that these machines are part of are, are a crime and they are they were meant to rob uh, our communities because all gambling equipment uh, should be licensed. There is a process which they need to follow to have gambling machines um, uh, made available for play. So what we are seeing today it's definitely not what has gone through that system. Gambling can possibly affect some individuals to have, among others, impaired judgment, reduced tolerance with other people and loss of self-respect. To have this machine, the process is that you need to, to have a, you must be a manufacturer and you need to hold a manufacturer license. So no one is allowed to manufacture the machines without the license issued by the Mpumalanga economic regulator. Once you have the manufacturer license, then you have to take the machine to, for testing um, by the testing laboratories that are established in the country. And also, once they are tested, they need to go for certification by the NRCS, which is an arm of the SAPS. Once they are certified as being uh, approved for use in the country, as the Mpumalang Economic Regulator, the inspectorate team will continue the evaluation of those machines to ensure that they satisfy the requirements of the gambling legislation. Only then they can be allowed to be on the floor. Responsible gambling, also known as safer gambling, is regulated and gamblers are encouraged not to use it as a source of income. I think uh, it's distracting uh, young people. Uh, even if they come from school, they don't do their studies, uh, they rise to the supermarket to, to gamble, which is wrong. They must shut it down. The children, if they come back to school, they don't even have time to write homeworks, they don't have time to clean, they don't have time to go to football and play soccer. They even steal their mother's money. Those found in possession of illegal gambling machines are fined between 1,500 and 2,500. Ndlandla Jele, SABC News, Mbombela, Mpumalang.